people struggle with VFR charts, right? We know this. Is he really gonna make me read a VFR chart? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You mean I'm gonna have to get a chart out and read it? Yes, okay. Boom, right there. What airspace you in? What's your cloud clearance and visibilities? The applicant says, guess I'm not ready. And his CFI did the same thing. They both kind of, you know, put their heads down, <laughs> kind of shrugged their shoulders. Coffee number three is ready. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty ornery after being sick for a few days. I don't care if you use the iPad, the iPhone, or the actual chart. Yes, you are going to have to refresh your knowledge on the VFR chart, regardless. And I've had guys that repeatedly ask me, is he really gonna make me read a VFR sectional chart? You are gonna get a look something like this. Okay, all in good fun. Day 86, Coffee with Kenny. I'm Kenny Keller, the creator of Helicopter Online Ground School. And my fixed wing add-on guy coming in tomorrow now. We talked last night and he said, whatever you want to do. And I said, well, let's give me one more day to kind of get over being sick so I'm not infecting you and you get in the cockpit with me. And I stayed yesterday. We would do uh, kind of an add-on week. This week we'll talk about the add-on ratings. I've been harping on this a lot. VFR sectional charts on an add-on. Know your VFR stuff. He is going to ask you, and whether you're going to use the iPad or your iPhone or your Android device or the good old paper chart, I don't care, but you're going to need to refresh your knowledge. VFR chart. I recommend old school way laying out a stupid paper chart. I know they're annoying, but you know what? I think this is probably still the best way to study. Or if you want to use the small screen or the medium sized screen on your iPad or whatever, that's great, but laying the paper chart out and the good old method of taking a pen and doing something like this looking at the chart and going gee what's that what's that what's that looking around you know here's an example cleveland cleveland you got a bravo a delta a delta over here a class charlie over here a tersa the best way to study people struggle with vfr charts right we know this we do have some videos inside helicopter landing ground school that help walk you through how to use a chart and we go through the things along the edge of the chart the legend all the things that you look at and we go through and pick some of these and i use some you know different airspaces bravo charlie delta there's just a lot to learn on these as an add-on pilot you know i gave attitude in the beginning of the video but i really had guys going maybe 20 25 year pilot year pilot flies ifr all the time and they'll really say, they're like, is he really going to make me read a VFR chart? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You mean I'm going to have to get a chart out and read it? Yes. Okay. Add on or whether it's your first private, it doesn't matter. What, what's an examiner going to do? He's going to check your VFR skills. My guy of 20 some years, add on pilots. First thing he does, he opens up a VFR chart. In the past, one of our viewers, if he's watching, he'll know who I'm talking about flying jets, flew instruments for years, had his own jet, was doing his helicopter private add-on, and his instructor called me up and said, hey, would you come in and double check my guy? I, th I think he's ready. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I knew what to do, right? I drive up to their, to their uh, hangar, walk in and say, oh, so you're getting ready for the check ride, huh? Yep. I'm like, you're all good to go. Well, I think so. I go, all right, let's start with VFR charts. And he kind of looked, you know, got that funny look on his face. We whipped one out and I go, Boom, right there. What airspace you in? What's your cloud clearance and visibilities? After a few of those, didn't take long before I didn't have to say it. The applicant says, guess I'm not ready. And his CFI did the same thing. They both kind of, you know, put their heads down, <laughs> kind of shrugged their shoulders. And I'm like, it's okay, guys. I've seen it over the years, right? I just know how this goes. And many times as an add-on pilot, a person's mindset is, hey, I'm already pilot. You know, I got, I've had my private for years. I already know this stuff. If you don't sit back and refresh this stuff, hell, if I was going for a check ride today or tomorrow or next week, I would sit down with one of these charts and I'd open the thing up and I'd do my own test and I would just, boom, go to that area, start looking around. I would refresh my knowledge on the legend, all the stuff along the edges, I'd go around and pick out things that I don't remember what it is. If you don't use it, you lose it, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. We're human beings. If, if we're not continually using a skill, 
I mean, you're going to remember, well, I, I've done this before, right? And, and I know basics, but you'll be surprised sometimes when you go back and go, oh man, what is that? I know what that is. If you want to have a smooth add-on check ride, open that VFR chart up. Again, I don't care whether you're using electronic or the good old paper chart, whatever you want to use. But please, add-on pilots, at whatever level you're at, whether you've been flying for one year or 30 years, do yourself a favor, save yourself frustration the day of the check ride, get the VFR chart out, go out there, smoke your check ride because if he starts out with the VFR chart like my guy does, even on add-ons, oh, let's get the chart out. Start that check ride off smooth. Start the check ride off feeling good, being fresh, showing that your VFR skills are good. And I get it, if you're a guy who flies, or a girl, who flies a lot of IFR stuff and you're always filing IFR flight plans, these people will admit they, their VFR skills kind of go out the window, right? They just don't use it enough. They're used to being in, jumping in, flying an IFR flight plan and away they go. I think I've harped on enough for today. I'm feeling good, feeling ornery. So I thought, you know what, this is a good day for this cup. I've been saving this one for a little while. This is just for those people that go, is he really going to make me do that? Is he really going to make me do that? So day 86, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Go below to helicopterground.com to check out our 24-hour test flight on our private pilot, monthly or yearly memberships. There's also a link down there for top 10 check ride tips. Good book. We bought it. We'll send it to you. I'll put that link down below. Remember, you get a 24-hour test flight for the monthly or yearly memberships. Remember, we have a big professional pilot package. I'm going to throw out a code today because you hung around and watched this video. If you would like that big, big professional pilot where you get all of our courses, unlimited, no expiration, I'm going to throw a code at you today just because I'm feeling ornery. KK25 off. That's 25% off that big professional pilot membership. Private, commercial, CFI instrument. It doesn't expire. Keep the training as long as you need it. And that's great for those of you that are going off the street to CFI. If it takes you a year, two years, three years, four years, took me four years to do it off the street to CFI. A lot of people take three, two, three, four, five years or more. So please subscribe to our channel. We had 17,000 subscribers a week or so ago. My next goal is 20,000. Looking forward to that, which is really good for my little niche, my little channel. I'm pretty darn proud of that. So like, subscribe, make your comments down below about VFR sectional charts. Ha, I know they're a pain, but hey, you got to do it. Suck it up, buttercup, and go refresh your knowledge on the VFR charts. See you in day 87.